almost every week for 10 years I come. I, I refuse to let my son be forgotten. Seven o'clock in the morning, December 8th. I was, it was my weekend off. The doorbell rang. It was uh, my daughter and I know something was wrong. Because at the six o'clock news I heard two young black men were savagely murdered. I couldn't bring myself to believe it was my son. And crime still unsolved, uh, which seems to be uh, unfortunately the trend in the black community. Friends of the two young men in the ivory bar know who committed the murder. In a lot of these cases, believe it or not, the victim and the murderer know each other. In some cases, they've grown up together. <clears throat> Your mothers <clears throat> have known each other for years. And so that makes it extremely painful, but even harder to talk about. Every other community has like, you know, that's kind of like a uh, silent code. You know, people don't talk about what happens. That is a, a real feeling in the black community, among many, that the police just don't care. Uh, that black life does not mean as much. In St. Leonard and all those other communities, there is still a rapport, usually by fractions of the community with the police. But the police have not be been partners with the community. I would say that the relationship between the community and the police has improved, but still, there is still that underlying uh, dis distrust factor. The police cannot do it alone. I trust the police and uh, they've been there for me. If a murderer is walking around and feel they get away with murder, why would they stop? So as a community, we need to speak up. The hardest thing is... For 10 years, these people have gotten away with murder. They can live. So I'm begging the people out there. We can't use our bad relationship or no relationship with the police as an excuse for us not to do the right thing. Can't use it.